as you've probably seen on the video where I make my spray booth here, uh, I have a cabinet just behind here. Um, and this is where I plan to put all my different kind of paints. I will be making a rack that can mount in the frame here, plus an additional two racks that will sit in here. And they will be hinged on the left side, so that I can uh, open them up and have three layers of paint in one small cabinet. I already know the dimensions of the cabinet in my workshop. So what I need to do now is to measure the dimensions of all the different kinds of paints um, so that I can design the rack and be sure that all the different kinds of paints will fit nicely. I started by ripping a 2x4 into 1.5 cm wide strip. They were then cut to length on my cap saw. All the corners were then mitered to 45 degrees. The strips were then sanded to remove any saw marks. It took forever. I then marked the position of the shelves. I then cut dados where I wanted the shelves to be. They were then glued together. It was all held in place with a band clamp while the glue dried. After the glue had dried, I routed a recess all the way around. The corners needed a little bit of cleaning up. I then cut the back from 4mm plywood. And then I glued that in place. The door that I want to mount this cabinet on has a glass front. So I had to make some brackets. The shelves needed a little bit of cleaning up. As you can see, I've now placed some of my paint pots in my uh, cabinet here. Because it's mounted on a door that can open and close, I want to put something in front to stop all the paint pots from falling out when I open the door. So my initial idea was to put a strip of transparent acrylic in front of the paint pots. Uh, just a small one uh, below here, um, just as I show you now. Uh, first of all, it will straighten out uh, the bowl in the wood. And secondly, I will be able to see the color behind the acrylic. I have not placed those strips yet because I want to see if it works or whether the thing will still fall out when I open the door. So right now I'll be doing some tests. So my first test will be a one centimeter strip uh, to hold the little humbrol cans in place. I just mounted the strip with some uh, pins at both sides. And as you can see, they are not going anywhere. So that's a really positive test. My next test will be with the washers. As you can see, they are a little bit taller. And my strip is, uh, I placed it at the bottom again. So basically, I expect them to fall, off, to fall out. Um, but again, if they don't, they're very easy to pick up and uh, put back in. So let's give it a try. 
At this speed, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm doing the test one more time, and this time I move the strip up a little bit. So basically, from the from the shelf and to the top of the edge, that's about two centimeters. And uh, now it basically worked. Uh, the small paint pop is not supported too well, but but it works okay. So I think I will be doing that. And if I need more support for the for the little paint pop, uh, I will put something uh, behind it so that it will rest against the, the strip in front of it. So not too bad. I could then cut the strips and recess them into the wooden frame. I decided to go with wooden strips instead of acrylic because of the bow in the shelves and because I couldn't glue acrylic to plywood. I then glued it all together. When done with the glue, I clamped everything together. After the glue dried, I gave it a quick sanding. And then I built two more. The first one I mounted directly to the back of the cabinet. The second one I mounted on piano hinges. It was a real pain getting it installed. There was very little space and it was difficult getting a good view. But I finally succeeded. I had to shave off a little bit at the bottom. And there you have it, my multi-layer paint cabinet.